Hello, I'm Dr. V. Nadarajan, the author of the book Bujang Valley, The Wonder That Was Ancient Kada. This program is on Bujang Valley. It's going to be in three episodes. And episode one will be the history, episode two will be the archaeology, and episode three will be the artifacts. And this will give you a clear picture of what Bujang Valley was in the ancient times, today called Kadatwa. Bujang Valley is in the state of Kada in the northwestern Malay Peninsula. The word Bujang is derived from the Sanskrit word Bujanga, which means serpent. The Murbog River is like a huge serpent running across Keda State. The Greek historian Ptolemy in the 2nd century CE called the Malay Peninsula the Aurea Chesonesis, which means the Golden Peninsula. The Indians called it Suvarna Deba or Suvarna Bhumi. Suvarna in Sanskrit means gold. Therefore, Suvarna Deba means Golden Peninsula and Suvarna Bhumi means Land of Gold. In the Indian classic Ramayana, it is Suvarna Deba and the great Emperor Asoka in the 3rd century BCE called it Suvarna Bhumi. Smatra was also called Suvarna Deba. Matra was also called Malaya Deba and Borneo was Karpura Deba, Java was Yava Deba, the Malay Peninsula and Sumatra were also called Malayur, land of the mountains in Tamil. The word Malayu is derived from here. In the ancient times, the Indians came to Southeast Asia in search of spices, gold and other metals. Southeast Asia was the main producer of spices and gold. The Indians needed gold because Vespasian, the Roman emperor, stopped the export of gold in the first century. The northeast and southwest monsoons and the sea currents favored this eastward journey of the Indians in search of these products. To understand Bujang Valley, we must understand Indianization of South Asia. In the first century CE, Funan became the first Indianized kingdom. Next was Champa, then Chenla, and Cambodia Desa, all in Indochina. Angkor Wat was built by Surya Varman II in 11. 13 CE, the biggest Hindu temple in the world. In the 7th century, Sri Vijaya emerged at Palembang in southern Sumatra. The Sailindras in Java built the great Borabadur in 824 CE, the biggest Buddhist stupa at Chok Jakarta. Then, in East Java, it was the Majapahit Empire. On the Malay Peninsula, at the Isthmus of Kra, at the neck of the Malay Peninsula, trading emporia emerged, such as Panpan, Tambralinga, which is Nakon Sitamarat, Lankasuka in Patani, then Chitu and Tuntun. On the west coast, it was Takola, which is Takwapa, then Kadaram at Bujang Valley, Kuala Silingsi, Ganga Nagara, and Kota Gilingi in Johor. The history of Bujang Valley can be found from two sources, literary sources and the archaeological evidence. Literary evidence comes from four sources, the Indian, Chinese, Arab and Malay sources. The Indian sources call Bujang Valley Kalagam K 
Kidaram, Kadaha, and Kadaram. The Sangam literature of the 2nd century CE, Silapadigaram, and Pattinapalai mention Kalagam as the producer of spices. The spices were brought to Kaveri Pompatina, the capital port of the Cholas. The 1030 CE inscribed Tanjavur Prasasti at the Brihadisvara temple or the big temple in Tanjavur mentions that Rajendra Chola invaded 13 kingdoms and territories in Southeast Asia from 1025 to 1030 CE to subdue Sri Vijaya. They are Talaitta Kolam, which is Takola, Kadaram, which is Bujang Valley, Ilanka Soga, which is Lankasuka, then there is Pandurang, which is in Champa, then Panni and Sri Vijaya in Sumatra, and Nakkavaram, the Nicoba Islands. Rajendra Chola, after defeating Kada, called himself Kadaram Kondan or conqueror of Kada. He built Kadaram Konda Cholaburam and Kadaram Konda Choleswaram at Velur. He built Kadaram Konda towns at Tiruvarur and Aryalur. The Tiruvallankad copper plates and other copper plates mention Rajendra Chola's invasions. The larger laden plates and smaller laden plates, which are both in the Leiden University in Holland, mention the relationship between the Cholas and the Kadaram. The Raja of Kadaram and Sri Vijaya, Cholamani Varmadevan, requested Raja Raja Cholan to help in building a Buddhist Vihara at Nagapatnam. The Vihara was completed in 1006 CE by Mara Vijutunga Varman, the son of Cholamani Varmadevan. The smaller laden plates dated 1090 CE mentioned that the Raja of Kadaram requested Kulatunga Chola to help maintain the Cholamani Vihara. The Tamil merchant guilds at this period were called Manigramam, Anjuvanam, Ayyavoli and Ainurvar. The Tamil ships were called Thoni, Kalavam, Vedi and Padagu. The Tamil inscriptions in Sumatra at Tlagabatu dated 684 CE and Labutwa dated 1088 CE mentioned these merchant guilds. In Guangzhou, China, a Sivan temple was erected by these merchant guilds with Tamil and Chinese inscriptions. The Chinese called Bujang Valley Chacha, Chito, Chita, and Kita. Of the many Buddhist missionaries and pilgrims who went to India from China, the most famous was Yi Cheng who left China in 671 CE. He went to Palembang, Malayu, and then to Chacha in 672 CE. Then he went to Tambralipti, Pataliputra, and to Nalanda University on the Ganges. He stayed for 12 years to translate Sanskrit and Pali Buddhist texts into Chinese. On his way back, he stopped at Kada, back to Palembang, and then to China. He has left copious amounts of information on Kada. The Arabs called Kada Kala, Kalaba, Kuala. The Akbar al Sin Walhin, the Sinbad's fourth voyage, Abu Duluf Misar. Al Masudi and others have written about Kada. 
Abu Duluf mentions that the Kualai sorts forged here were true Indian sorts. The Malay sources, Hikayat Merung Mahawangsa, Al Tarik Salasila Negeri Kada, and Sejarah Melayu mention ancient Kada. The Hikayat Merung Mahawangsa says that Merung Mahawangsa was the first ruler of Kada. Merung means Maran or Marawan, a warrior caste. Maha means great. Wangsa means Wamsam. Wamsam means heritage or lineage in Tamil. So, Merung Maha Wangsa means Maran of great lineage. The Sejarah Melayu mentions that Raja Suran invaded the Malay Peninsula. That Raja Suran is none other than Rajendra Chola. The first Sultan of Kedah was Sultan Muzaffar Shah, who converted from Hinduism to Islam in 1136 CE. His tomb is in Bujangali. Kedah royalty could be the oldest royalty in the world. It is also the oldest sultanate in the Malay Peninsula. Having seen the literary evidence of Bojang Valley from Indian, Chinese, Arab and Malay sources, let us now go into the archaeological evidence of Bojang Valley. Archaeological evidence is mainly in the form of chandis or temples as they were called and these are found in about 200 square kilometers in Bujang Valley. See you in the next episode.